Hey folks, thanks for checking out Branded and Devoted Designs this afternoon. We're in the middle of pressing some hats for Premier Construction. It's a local construction company here in Cartersville. Just want to go over my whole process with you guys. I'm not saying this is the way you got to do it. This is just the way I do it. It seems to work well for me. First thing I do is I take all my hats out of a sleeve, uh, pull all the uh, cardboard out, and then take my... Uh, Forgive me, I've got two of them stuck together. Take my roller here, pull all the lint off. So restack them up. I've got my hats to have patches on on the right. All the ones I've already got patches put on on the left, as well as my cardboard insert. So got our hat, <clears throat> Hattronics 360 here. We got it set at 280 at the top, 320 at the bottom. It's already nice and warm, and trust me, it is warm. I've done burnt my hand a couple of times today, but that's okay. Uh, now, me, personally, I like to flip the sweatband out. There's some that say sweatband out, sweatband in. Man, you just got to figure out what works for you. Uh, you know, sometimes on my old Viver press, I would just leave the sweatband like it was. But uh, take it, flip it out, put your pinkies out, just like you're sipping tea. So, take it. Wrap it around the platen. That is one thing about this IQ360 I love is you can get hats easily in and out of there without burning the top of your hand. Uh, I had a, a Viver press. Uh, pull your lever up, give it, let it get tightened. Had a Viver press prior to this, and it done really well. But we were we were making enough hats I could justify buying a nicer, newer one. And this will do a lot more than hats. But uh, I'm gonna pull it down. I've got my pressure set to about a six. Uh, it's not latched. I'm just pulling it down for about 10, 15 seconds to warm the hat up. You may see a wrinkle or two uh, when you open it up, but uh, the hat's good and warm. All you wanna do is take the palms of your hands, press those out, smooth your hat out. Uh, you might have to pull down on the sides a little bit. But once you got it all nice and smooth, you're gonna take your patch now me, I'm 48, almost 49 years old. These are reading glasses. Yes, you will eventually need them. <laughs> but uh, just because I like to make sure mine go on a certain height, with these, we're eventually gonna run a stitch around the perimeter. That's what the customer wanted. So I'm setting these at a certain height up off the beagle with this one. I, I normally set mine about three stitches up, but to give us enough room to stitch it, I move this up about four stitches up and just hold that patch there let it let the heat kind of activate that adhesive you've not pressed it down yet and just take a look at it look at your patch look at your hat make sure everything's lined up make sure everything is the way you want it once you get there take this thin small foam pad that come with the iq360 it helps uh, protect your hat keeps it from getting scorched put it down and then just pull your uh, lever down and latch it. Now this is gonna run for about 40 seconds. So, you know, in, in this time, I'm not telling you to run out and buy IQ360. I bought one because I wanted one. Uh, it just, to me, makes things a little easier. Uh, the the Viver hat, we've probably done a thousand hats on that. Uh, it's a good press. Um, I don't, I don't have any issues with it. I just, I do like the fact that this one has a bottom platen that warms up. Helps uh, in setting that patch where you want it. We got about six seconds here and then this thing's gonna pop up. That's the other thing I like. At the end of the timer, boom, it pops up. So I'm not having only constantly up, down, up, down. So drop your lever down, pull your hat off. I like to flip my sweatband out and then just look at it. Everything looks good, it's pressed. Set it aside to cool. Take one of the ones that's already cooled. Slide your sleeve in. Put it back in the bag. Right here behind us that has the other hats in it. Rinse, repeat. Guys, thanks for checking me out today. Find your passion, do it every day. Get out there, crush the day.